Hey everyone, uh, in this video you will see the most important widget which is the date picker. The date picker is the one that you can see mostly in almost every application. So what I want to create in this uh, in this example is I'll create a text and a button. When you tap on this particular button, that button will display you a date. If you select a particular date, that date will automatically uh, add to your text field. So we'll see how we can create that. For that, let me create a first column widget inside this column. The first thing I'll create is a um, sorry, children. The, the first thing I'll create a text here. As of now, no, I'm not doing anything inside. I'll just create a dummy data for the text. And after this, I'll create one flat button. So inside this flat button, I'll create on pressed. So which is a function. So I'll not do anything. I'll just pass a tight child which is a text I'll just show here show date picker show picker I'll write it as a picker here and I'll write a color like some, some background color in the red accent and text color I'll write white okay uh, so we'll see where it is created text date picker okay okay this is uh, okay let me create a padding to this mm. otherwise I'll just place these two in the center mm. okay okay and also I'll create a padding This is okay and uh, so what is when I tap on this on press it should show the date picker so for that we have a function we have a method called show date picker so when you write the date picker you can see it, it is have showing some default arguments as this we will, we will see what all this and before writing this so okay before before writing this uh, let me create a variable which holds a date so go here just go here and write date time so I want to show both date and time that's why I'm just creating this so this when you are doing this date and time I'll pass to my text so instead of this I'll pass date time so we'll see what is this okay the first one which is a context and initial date here what is the initial date i need to supply so initial date i'll give it as current date and time now means here i'll i'll give the today's date and current time so and in the first date i will give from uh, which date it should show so i will give here date time uh, i i'll say here it will start from 2015 it will show dates begin from 2015 and it will show up to up to 20 um, 25 okay i want 10 year dates okay and after this i have i'll write then and inside i need to pass a date so what this will do when we select the particular date right that will set the date and it will add to our current uh, selected date time so I will get a set state so inside what I'll do I will just pass the created date time variable to the currently selected date okay I created uh, means I have uh, added the currently selected date to my variable that I have created date and time and what is this error okay so we need to convert this to to string 
okay we are done so we are done with everything let's see what will do so initially th there is no uh, there is no variable that passed here and that's it is showing is null so but when we select the particular date that will pass here so we'll see so when we click on the show picker what happened it has showed a uh, dates it has showed a calendar which is having a date if i select the seven as you can see select the seven and click okay it will show it is saying like seventh date and also along with that it is showing some default time here and again if you can see this right from the calendar it is showing so as we told it it will begin from 2015 to 2025 so so it is showing up to 2025 so we can select whatever the calendar we want in that we want whatever we, we want we can select that and here along with this so we can select the date and we can click the date and so it now it will see it is showing the current date so it's a, today is a 8th of uh, august 5th of august 2020 so that's what how it is showing a date and uh, date, uh, date picker here so in, when you see this date picker right this is a materialistic design kind of date uh, that showed uh, here but when it when it comes to ios this is not the ios uh, as per the ios human interface guidelines this is not the date picker they have the default date picker so we can also create the date picker using a cupid in the style <coughs> we will see how we can create that and i want to create that after this flat button so i'll give some size box size box and with the height as some 75 i'll give so because i want to show that <coughs> difference of a normal date picker and as well as ios cupertino style so i want to show that here i'll create a flat button so ios state i'll just sorry on pressed I'll write iOS date picker. Okay, uh, picker color. I'll write some colors dot amber. Text color. Okay, this is not uh, really. Okay, I change it to the purple accent. Yeah, now I want to say a default iOS date picker. So whatever the picker we have seen, right? This is not the uh, as per the iOS one. This is not the one. This is not this is created as per the materialistic design. But if you want to show the uh, uh, iOS date picker, we have something called a Cupertino style uh, date picker. That's why we will see how we can create that. To do that, first we have to create a widget uh, we have to create a widget we'll see how we can create that widget so inside this inside this on pressed what i'll create i'll just create some show q pertino date picker okay q pertino date picker means i just created one small function here uh, let's see uh, go here just create a method come down so now we are creating a ios date picker so now we are seeing the cupertino style kind of a date picker here so to do that first we have we have, we have to call some uh, function here uh, show model bottom sheet so inside i have two arguments which is a uh, content and as well as a builder so for the content i will write it as a content and coming to the builder so here and the builder Again, I'll create uh, one more. Uh, so I means here I need to pass a build context and uh, also a context here. And inside this, I need to create a return a container. So I need to create a return a container. Means when I tap on that, it uh, iOS date picker, it should open a container with this. Mm, and inside container, uh, I have a child property so here in this child property I need to pass a cupertino date picker so this will show the iOS default date picker so inside we have initial date and time so initial date now the initial date and time and I'm just giving a default date and time now for the current date and time right now that is what I'm giving date time dot now so this will give the current date and time 
and on date time changed so we'll see what is this so here i'll give date time so new date and after this i'll give the minimum year so what we have seen right minimum year so from which year you want same i want it from 2015 to maximum year so maximum year i want 2025 and i have mode so here in this mode i want to show only date i can show if you want to show both date and time also i can show both date and time so that is how i can do cupertino date picker mode you can see right dot date date and time or otherwise if you want to show only time so anything you can select if you want to uh, select the date it will show only the date if you select both it will show both date and time if you select time it will show only the time so i'll select currently i'll select the date and go down and okay just end the container and also end this okay now you're done so what happens when you tap on the cyber date picker so you can see this cupid in the style will display here see this is ios default date picker now you can see it started from 2015 it started from 2015 to 2025 so all the months are displayed and all the dates are displayed here this is called a cupertino style of uh, data and this is a uh, as per this uh, flutter it's a materialistic design one and this is a cupertino style of designing a date picker means this is a ios default date picker so this is how we can create we created a date picker uh, both the materialistic design as well as cupid in style we have seen both this both the date pickers over here this is how we can create a date picker